In the current tech dispensation of the world, it is very easy to get lost in the cloud and sometimes leave there. People seldom take time to reflect because they are always on their phones. They make quicker and poorer decisions and even get less sleep in consequence. Being a deep thinker is more needed now than ever. You have to be able to see things clearly without the cobwebs of virtual opinion clouding your mind. It is not easy to unplug, but it is necessary. Sometimes, you may not even be able to remember why you made some choices, and you must always remember. In today's video, I am going to share with you 13 signs that show that you are a deep thinker. Number 1. You are observant. Are you observant? It takes an amount of concentration to pay attention. These days, a lot of people don't pay attention. Many of them are always on their phone, and it is super difficult to hear yourself over all the social media chatter. People who are deep thinkers tend to be more conservative on social media. They also tend to speak less and observe. People who process thoughts on the surface level don't even take notice of changes in their environments. They can't tell when you cut your hair or when you change the cotton. Deep thinkers are usually observant and this makes them attractive. Number 2. You have a strong reading culture. People who think a lot are usually people who read. Readers have a strong tendency for critical thinking than non-readers. When you read, you are exposed to several perspectives and this has a way of influencing your thinking. You are more likely to think than act in any given situation when you have a strong reading culture. Deep thinkers sometimes think of very complex things. Without reading often, you may not even have the vocabulary to process those types of thoughts. If you are always reading, you will have a tendency to zone out in the middle of conversations and think of a lot of things. You will also often have your nose buried in a book. Overthinking may not be too good, though your brain needs rest. Number 3. You enjoy being alone. Do you like the company of friends or would you rather be alone? People who would rather be alone are usually deep thinkers. You can't think when other people are around laughing and distracting you. You can't think when you are at a pool party with a bottle of beer. You will probably just observe the party and have some fun. When you're alone, you can sit still and think. You can go at it for hours too. Having no distraction can help you think better. This is why people who are deep thinkers prefer to be alone. Number 4. You are curious. Deep thinkers understand that they cannot acquire information simply by thinking about it. They therefore ask questions. They seek to understand everything. They just want to know. Some of the things you have not even considered, most deep thinkers have considered them all. For example, a deep thinker would argue that society's adoption of marriage values is latently rooted in procreation and continuation of the human race. They would perhaps tell you, if you care to listen, that prostitutes and fornication are already ensuring the continuing of the human race and social coercion on people to get married is not justifiable. Deep thinkers seldom take answers on surface level unless you can justify your response. A deep thinker will likely not accept it. A deep thinker can question the things of nature. They can even question reality. They are always trying to understand the root cause of things and this can keep their minds very busy. Number 5. You like to plan. Deep thinking is about everything. Because of this, they like to plan. They plan what to wear, what to eat, what to drink, and even what to watch. They are rarely spontaneous. This can be an advantage if you have one as a partner. There will be no surprises. He will not wake up one day and just leave. This is very unlikely. They even plan what they read and seek out information regularly. Thinking usually has a pattern and a process. Deep thinkers are usually so good at thinking that it reflects in everything they do. When you think, you apply some logic to process your thoughts and determine if you are accurate or not. This imposed objectivity is perhaps why their results are always so mind-blowing. Some people who are like this are researchers, some of them are scientists and inventors. It takes time to become excellent at anything. If you want to be a deep thinker, don't rush it. It can take 5 years. Just begin. Number 6. You analyze situations. An average deep thinker will not take action simply because they are told something. Most times, they will want to verify or at least think about it first. 
They will ask questions and with the facts obtained, weigh the alternatives carefully before making a decision. Number 7. You are forgetful. Most deep thinkers are so immersed in thought they are seldom present. A deep thinker can tell you about the future and how things will turn out but may not remember to pick up groceries. They are quite forgetful. Somehow, because those things are not very weighty in the grand scheme of things, they do not always think of them. A way to deal with this is to have a checklist daily so as to remember the little things. If you are a deep thinker in this century, you are in luck. All you need to do is use the Google Task app. It will set a reminder for the time you are meant to begin each one. That way, you don't even have to remember. Number 8. You have a good imagination. Imagination is the foundation of most creative efforts. If you are not imaginative, you may not be able to pull off a lot of creative tasks. Most creative people are deep thinkers. When you are always thinking, you can often allow your mind to wander. This is how you start developing your imagination. If you are a deep thinker, you probably always know this. If you desire to be a deep thinker, try and recall things visually from time to time. When you practice this over time, you can have a clearer picture of what you want by simply thinking about them. Number 9. You have problem solving skills. Deep thinkers stay with problems longer than most people. If there's a design flaw in a product, it can bog and bog a deep thinker until they figure out how to fix it. Most people who are not deep thinkers may either not notice design flaws in product or simply ignore them. Thinking is a consuming process. Because of this, you are more likely as a deep thinker to thoroughly work on a problem than someone who seldom thinks. When you sleep, your subconscious also works on the problem. Over time, you will figure it out. Number 10. You are always thinking. People who are deep thinkers are also thinkers. They always have something on their mind. Sometimes, it can be a concept, an idea, or a problem. There is always something. This makes their brain more active. It also makes it easy for them to retrieve information and analyze complex issues because of practice over time. The main disadvantage is that thinking all the time can make you not to be present. Have you ever been in a class and heard something profound? Give minutes later, someone taps you and tells you that the lecturer asked you a question and that you have been staring at him. Number 11. You are often indecisive. The trouble with thinking about everything again is that you will find it difficult to make choices. What color of t-shirt would you want? It is easy to just say ash or red, right? If you went to get one yourself, you would probably spend 30 minutes asking the vendor which shade of ash the t-shirt is. You can't seem to decide on where to go on vacation or what to have for breakfast. However, take note that with deep thinkers, indecision is usually with things they feel are of little import. A deep thinker is never confused with their purpose. They are also never confused with their position on a law, a policy, or a business model. Number 12. You may not always smile. Knowledge brings sadness. More knowledge brings more sadness. People who are deep thinkers read often and ruminate over a lot of information. They are more likely to know about conflicts and reflect on those loss of lives. This can make them sad. Continually reading and reflecting over information on the world keeps them in this state. There is always an injustice, a killing, a bad policy, a wicked leader, a raped woman in the world. For this reason, deep thinkers may not always be smiling when you see them. Number 13. You are an introvert. Deep thinkers tend to be introverted. If you spend as much time as they do thinking, perhaps you would be introverted.